Hello and welcome to this short uh, video tutorial on data governance uh, setup and reporting. Um, first steps uh, that you have to go through um, is in system administrator. Um, what we do is we uh, create a, uh, or we enable the um, basically the audit uh, on whichever object you want to audit. So in this particular case, we're going to audit uh, our supplier. Um, so you can see we've enabled Oracle payables uh, here. And then if we then uh, enable a group, uh, you can see we've got some different groups here. And here we're going to audit across supplier, supplier site and external banks. Um, so we have to do that. Um, and then once that's done, if you need to add any additional columns uh, to any of those tables, uh, you can simply do that by coming in here and adding to any of these particular uh, sites. So you see here we've got um, on supply sites, uh, we can just simply uh, add additional columns as required. Uh, you just simply down arrow and add those as needed. Um, in this particular case, uh, I've got everything I, I require on, on this particular sites table. Uh, and now I'm just going to show you uh, what you would have to do. So within view requests, um, there's a couple of jobs you have to run. I'll just show you those. Uh, it's literally uh, less than five minutes set up. So uh, you'd have to run the audit trail uh, reporting, uh, sorry, the audit trail uh, update tables, and you'd have to run the audit trail for audit group validation. Um, so it would be first the group and then the tables. If you're adding any additional uh, columns, you certainly would have to run that. Um, and then you're in a position to run the standard Oracle report. Um, th this is obviously uh, you know, a, a very small function of the GRC, which is a, a complete module, um, which is obviously carries a license fee. But this, this is just a, a very basic uh, standard function that you've got within EBS uh, already. So if you were to run the standard report, uh, what it would do is uh, it would say, OK, which group? And then you'd pick your group. Uh, in this particular case, it's supplier audit. Uh, and then you'd pick your, your basically your, your, your table within there. So, you know, depending on what you're trying to audit, you'd pick uh, the table. And then you'd start to pick the the columns from, from there. Uh, we're not going to do that because uh, I'll show you what, what that produces. It's, it's not very satisfactory and it's pretty unusable, unusable uh, as you'll see for yourself in a moment. Uh, some of you have probably already tried to use these reports and, and found them actually uh, you know, not really viable to use. So I'll just show you what, what uh, the standard output looks like. Um, it's, it's just a flat text file. It doesn't include the supplier name and uh, it, it's very hard to, to fathom what's going on at all. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to, um, basically we're just going to run a blitz report. So instead of um, running that particular function, we just go uh, within the form, we can run it uh, from uh, basically a very small personalization. You just basically launch uh, our report from there which is included uh, it's free to use so you're allowed to use this product for up to 30 reports and we've seeded many reports covering many areas process areas uh, including record to report um, purchase to pay order to cash and supply chain planning amongst other areas so they're all seeded this particular report is uh, is also free included with the blitz report um, these are parameters as you can see it uses all the standard uh, EBS forms commands uh, in fact we've enhanced some of those so instead of having to click here you can double click on different uh, variables uh, or, or parameters whatever um, and then here we're, we're setting the data which we want to audit from well this is a vision database so I've got a very old data I've set in here. Um, then we've got uh, the ability to select multiple com columns, which you can't uh, particularly do in uh, in EBS standard. So we've got the, we've enabled that, that capability. Um, and in here, we're going to say, uh, always take discounts I want to track and uh, the bank charge bearer I'm interested in and allow our AWT. Um, we can add additional columns. So this overcomes the, the problem that the standard report has whereby you can't see 
um, additional tables. So we join in additional tables here. So we say, okay, I want to also see vendor sites uh, and I want to, to go back to the supplier table so I can see the name. We'll go ahead and run this. It goes through the standard concurrent requests as you would expect, because uh, it's, it's a seamless integration for Oracle EBS. Um, you can see here it's got pending, running, uh, and then it produces the output and it doesn't go through XML, it's very fast. There's no limitation on the data. Uh, you can have up to a million records uh, per, uh, per sheet. And as let's say there were 2 million records, it would just create another sheet. Uh, you see here it's uh, tracking. You see that immediately as it opens, it gets all the, the formatting of the date columns, right? It's not like CSV where you've got to reformat, resize, um, and it puts filters on already for you. And you can see here, this is uh, an update transaction. This is an insert. Um, and then as we go across, we've got the supplier number. We've got the person who made the changes. Uh, in this particular case, Catherine Baker, supplier number is 16. Uh, supplier is Amazon. Uh, it's the vendor site code is main, uh, the site ID here. And we're saying, okay, for allow AWT, the old value is no, new value is, is yes. And here we say, okay, on a different occasion, on a different date later on at 9.21, um, there was another value change. Uh, done by the same user and then across here we can see uh, the always take discount uh, column has been updated it was null and it's now n uh, and then over here we see the the bank charge bearer was null and then it was set to i so very quickly that's uh, that's that's the functionality um, of course you can run any report um, if, if you look at uh, our Nginatics YouTube channel there are many examples of running different reports so that's really all, all I wanted to share with you um, uh, so thank you very much for listening and uh, we'll talk uh, again if you would like to have a demonstration of this okay